gotta stop. I gotta stop. Steve, can you tell that I'm upset right now? Um, what? what why are you upset? <laughs> why are you upset? Okay, you said that with a few post-launch support is going to become something special, and I don't disagree with that. But if it's going to become something special, why the fuck is it in 87, 85? Because to me, in 85, is something special. Yes, agreed. And and you even said it right here, has some baffling design decision around this co-op implementation. Isn't that the main, that, isn't that the main, um, that's the, that's the main thing, the main feature of this is the co-op correct so if, if there if there's something that is baffling to you why is it 85 oh i know why i know <laughs> why because right here that's why that's why 85 and it's not the first time they've given bad xbox games good scores it, it is how it is and the same thing with this sumo xbox sumo xbox Redfall is the kind of game that gets you into action with your friends. It's super fun, especially when you join a team of four and are tasked with fighting hordes of vampires to save survivors and meet and meet Haven objects. But it, it, that's not all. What really takes this game to another level are the character enhancement mechanics and dynamic agility of movement. Now, I, I, I have to read the full review to see if they're full of shit or not. Mm-hmm. But regardless of that, this is the score right now, 64, right? Which is not good, especially for a studio like Arcane Studios. Arcane Studios are a are a very good studio under Bethesda. And for this game right now to have a 64, that's not good. Now, I made a video about Redfall a couple weeks ago, right? Regarding it being um, 30 frames per second, right? And, and we had we didn't have like an argument, but we had a discussion about whether or not it's a big deal or not. The reason why it's a big deal to me is because you, Microsoft, you guys um, labeled the Xbox as as the um, what was it? You 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 proclaim Xbox to be the most powerful console, at least with the Series X. Right? You have your you have your, your you have your executives talking about 60 FPS like it was gonna be the standard. And right now it's not the standard, it's at 30. In fact, they have labels on the box saying that um oh this this is gonna this um the 60 fps thing is gonna come out later on the 60 fps option is gonna come is gonna come out a later date they have it in the back of the box yeah even though everything everything that every trailer everything that was shown about this game how did it mean 60 fps <laughs> how, how how is it that you're going to advertise something and yet, it's not available once you pay for it. Oh no, it, it's going to be available later, not now. We, we're going to advertise that it's available now, but it's you won't have access to it later on. Until later, um, and, and this game has been delayed already. The game been delayed, and I, I'm sorry. I look at I look at the visuals, and oh, you know, actually, let's let's, let's look at the visuals. Let's let's go. Let's see if we can find some visuals of this game. Um, let me uh, shout out to my boy Jimmy Butler. Right, um, while while I wait for that, um, all right. So the 30 FPS thing came out. That was a big deal. Um, IGN did their did their did their game their gameplay of it. That didn't look particularly great. Um, and right now the Metacritic right now is that a is that a 64? So I mean, what 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 what's, what's your thoughts about the game? Well, um, I, I do have the article that I wanted to read real quick. Yeah. Uh, of, of what of what my issue, you know, was the game. Um, what was the issue, you know, with the game? The reason why I still have an issue with this is because I feel that regardless of um what the game is supposed to be about, regardless if 
Um, you have a lot of, uh, you know, co-op in it. If the game itself has single player mode, there's absolutely no reason why you should be forced to remain online just so you can enjoy single player content. I don't believe in that whatsoever. So this is this is the reason why I pull up this article. Um, so I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it says here Redfall is an unbecoming open world co-op. Obviously, you know, this this is um, uh, a couple of days old uh, um, from Arcane Studios, Austin Bethesda for Xbox Series X and PC. Set in a small town of Redfall, Massachusetts, players must survive against legions of vampires and other dangerous enemies after a failed experiment leaves them trapped. Um, dramatically similar to popular Left 4 Dead series, Redfall lets four player work cooperatively to fight against hordes of foes while um, progressing through a narrative and objective driven missions. While Redfall gives gamers the option of single player as well as four player co op, according to Arcane Studios, they won't get the option to play these modes offline. Through Arcane Studios um, Redfall FAQ, it stated that a persistent online connection is required for single player and co-op. Redfall looks to follow a modern trend of online ga only games, but this comes with some concerning implications that affect gamers and the state of gaming as a whole. See, th th this this is the main issue that I have with the game. The fact that you have to remain online in order for you to play single player. I constantly try to ask people who are hardcore gamers, why is it, what is the main issue of, of not giving us the choice to play single player mode offline? What is the problem? What, what, what's, what's the big issue here? Why are you forcing gamers, the consumer, me, who wants to play your game, why are you forcing me to remain online on single player mode? Why? Based on what you can see on the next on the next thing, anti-piracy, according to them. Um, in recent years, developers have adopted anti-piracy practices to ensure the safety and protection of the pro of the projects. DRM digital rights management is the most efficient way to protect copyrights for digital media, including video games. It essentially limits the copying and selling of games and is used to authenticate game purchases. Utilizing an online only model with DRM takes it a step further. Making sure the player is always connected online authenticates the, ga um, the player's game. Although this practice is beneficial to developers and their products, the online only model can pose a problem for the player. You see, here, here's the thing: you're not going to you're not going to fix the issue by sacrificing um, the decision making for me. If I want to play a game offline, I should have the capability to do that. And what is the and you mean to tell me? So I, I'm not a programmer. I'm not a game designer. Now I am going to school for you know for coding and such. So I'm still learning. Uh, uh, I'm still in the beginning stages of it. But tell me this, if your problem or your issue is is for piracy, you mean to tell me that having the capable have, having the capability to play um, 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 multiplayer, but giving us the option to to um, um, giving us the option to play offline during during single player mode should shouldn't be hurting the companies. How, how are you how are you hurting the companies by just giving us the option to play offline just just for single player mode but you see how we having we, we're having less control over our games now you, you realize that right yeah but I mean Rudolphy shout out to you that here we go why is online such an issue I already told you why I already told you why it's an issue because now I have I'm forced to remain online in order to play games. If the if the game has especially if games have um single player, there's no way in hell that you could tell me that they are incapable of allowing a game to go offline on single player mode. 
There's no way that you could tell me that. Not, not in 2023. Not in 2023. I don't know why you are so in favor of having, you know, games online only, where if the game is and is is not accessible when you are offline, like let's say, let's say if you had to move somewhere, let's say if um some somehow your internet, you know, doesn't seem to work, your games are obsolete until you are back online again. Why, 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 why in the world would I want to support something like that? Why in the world do I have to? Should I support and be happy about something? where I don't have access to it unless I'm online. How, how is that a good thing? Tell me how that's an absolute good Riddler. Right. While you wait for him to do that, let me read some comments. Go ahead. You said, No Man's Sky, one thing, day one patches, LOL, AAA gaming, normal as, u- of, as usual. Um, Yeah, with No Man's Sky, it, it needed... It needed like what 20, 30 patches for it to get to where it should where it should have been. You know what I mean? Needed all that. All right, but anyway, here my Twitter has been up, and now you see this right here. Now, Dustin Legary. Have you ever you heard of this guy? No. He he works for I believe he works for IGN. Does he work? Let me, let's, let's let's look at his profile. He doesn't say it here, but um, but I know he used to. I think I think he used to work for IGN, right? Mm-hmm. Now he's a he is a avid. He covers Xbox, and I frankly I, I consider him being an Xbox fanboy, right? But even here, what he said right here, I've played enough Redfall to tell you it's a bad game. Brain brain dead AI, empty world, buggy tech issues. If he's saying that about Redfall. I mean, Wolf. If he's saying that about Redfall, what, what does that tell you? That that we, we are paying seventy dollars for an incomplete game. Well, I mean, here's the, here's the thing. If I wanted to play it, I don't have to pay seventy dollars. I just get it on Game Pass. And to me, that's the problem. Um, can you elaborate? I mean, I mean, you, you the re- I, I guarantee you the reason why they didn't launch with a 60 FPS mode, the reason why they launched with the game in this state, and this guy right here, Broken Game Day D, he's, he's complaining that there's not enough on um, PC graphic settings, not enough. The reason why they, they released this in the state that it's in because it's, it's in Game Pass. And since you're only paying $15 for it, they don't have to give you everything at launch. They can just release the game, get it out there, and that's it. And then you obviously they'll improve the game later. But here, 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 here's, a, here's a problem with that statement, though. I hear what you're saying, but the problem is you're still screwing people over who don't have Game Pass and, and wants to buy the game for 70 because they're going to be able to, they're going to face the exact same experience as a person who was on Game Pass. So, it is, so, so, so to me, um, that that excuse shouldn't hold any water whatsoever. Because you're screwing all the people who wants to buy it physically and wants to buy and and, and expects to have everything in there, all the features in there, because they paid seventy for it. You're still screwing over. You're still screwing both people. But do they care? That's the question. Do they care? That's the thing. Do they care? If, um, because I, I think they we all know what their what their main focus is in this game pass. That's their that's their main focus. No, I, what I was gonna say is even if that's you know their main focus, they're not even doing a good job at it. You you you're not you're not telling us you're not giving us a good product if all you're gonna do is give us incomplete games. Just because somebody is paying fifteen dollars, you know, for Game Pass or ten dollars for Game Pass. That doesn't mean the game should come out incomplete. I agree with you, but that, but this, this is, this is when you give, when you give, when you give people the option to not pay full price for games, and these big budget games, these are what you're going to get. 
is at least the the likelihood of getting these type of games are a lot higher. Because at the end of the day, like people, there is an expectation when you pay seventy dollars for a game, and when you pay full price for a game, there is an expectation to where hey, this game needs to be as good as possible. In Arcade Studio, they've already have a proven track record of be, of making good games. So, if they if they release this in the, in the state that it's in right now, based on what some of these people are saying, and and this in this video that I'm gonna play is going to show he, you're gonna. Gonna, you know, you're gonna see it right here. The, the the only excuse that I can come up with is that yo, they decided to release on Game Pass, and they're gonna finish it later. Uh, that's not a good business model either. That's not a good business model either, because <laughs> because you're still a subscriber. So yeah. you're you. So what you're trying to do now is just. Um, trying to you know re- release a game that's incomplete, but you're pretty much punishing me for being a subscriber. That's what you're basically saying. No, I'm, being, I'm, I'm being I'm being punished because I'm only paying fifteen dollars for a game for a product that you offered. In their mind, in their mind, you know, a you pay fifteen dollars, you get access to all of our games. In their mind, that's what they. That's what they. That's what they. That's what they. They probably think. I. 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 I think that they. At the end of the day, they. They make Game Pass. Because they're giving you access to their games, for a reduced price. And when you do that, the expectations have to go lower. And it doesn't help that they have a bunch of people in 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 um. They have a bunch of people online. Or Xbox fanboys who enable this type of behavior. They enable it. By saying, by saying, you know, hey, Sony should do the same thing. Right? Knowing damn well that Sony can't do the same thing. And I don't think they want to do the same thing because at the end of the day, they're a lot of their developers want to create, you know, they want to they want to create full fledged games, triple A games. As they should. Yeah. And I mean, listen, listen to this. Ready? Yeah. Redfall feels confused, old, and unfinished. Worse yet, it's in a head-on race with Star Wars Jedi and Last of Us PC port to see who can have the buggiest game in 2023. Let me say this. Redfall has so many bugs for more than two hours, we thought one of the bugs was a feature we just hadn't dis- discovered yet. Despite, Despite a game, game about vampires versus, versus mankind, mankind, Redfall's, Redfall's largest, largest battle is with, with itself, itself and, and with dueling philosophies that, that never come together. Does it want to be a four-player looter-shooter kind of title? And if it does, its options, presentation, and flexibility go directly against old and new classics in that genre. Or does it want to be a narrative-driven deep world? And in that way, it strangely finds itself looking into a mirror and instead of seeing no reflection like vampires themselves, it sees all of the older siblings in the form of Arcane's prior titles. And... It's just it's just a bloated, bloated unrelenting mess. Redfall, Redfall feels, feels confused, confused, old, old and, and unfinished. Worse, right. worse yet, it's in a head-on rate. Yeah, like, like, and I'm looking at these videos. Right, let's look at let's look at this. Look at this video. It, it, um, this is only this is only available next, this is next gen only. And I I saw this going around. Oh my god! Look at this. You see all that? Oh my goodness! Ah, Steve, you, you can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear. I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's yeah. that's so, that's bad. And like, Arcane, they make good games, but the minute they decide to make a game on 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 that goes directly to Game Pass Day One, and that's what you get. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is, man. I mean, people just need to unsubscribe at this point. If, if, if people need to unsubscribe and just focus on, you know, buying buying games. Well, I don't want to say full price anymore either, because if you buy the game full full price, you're going to be experiencing the exact same thing. So you're screwed either way. You're screwed either way. They're banking on the on on having content on the on the console. 
on 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 Game Pass. That's what they're breaking on. They're breaking on content. And, and and this is what you're going to get by supporting something, uh, paying. Oh yeah, I'm getting a great discount, but in exchange, we're going to give you incomplete games. No thanks. 